Got a DeWalt air compressor, uh, 200 psi, 15 gallon tank. Um, I bought this at an auction. I got a good deal, but it's had a few issues. So the most recent issue is that it's not pumping up, and um, it doesn't want to turn on. We could run this for a while, but we're not going to get pumped up with anything. The problem that we're having is that the piston is messed up and we need to replace it. So, let's take that apart. Unplug it. It's dying. That's all right. We'll fix you up. Pull the pressure release valve on the tank. Nothing. So, not that I would expect in those couple of seconds that we would have ended up with anything in the tank. But okay, so. Need to loosen this up. Move that out of the way. And then we'll take off this housing for the piston. all your parts together somewhere so you don't lose them. So these valves look okay, and uh, the seals aren't bad. But all right, so we could replace the seals, and um, everything else looks pretty good. Now, what you can't see from there. You can see my fingers behind here, and look at that. Moving around. Um, and as we turn this, you can see there's a gap around the edges of the piston. And we're not gonna get any, definitely not gonna get any uh, pressure buildup that way. I need to take that off. Around here on the side, there's a large bolt. And probably need to keep it from moving.
break that loose. Take that out. It's gonna get a little messy. Now, this piston needs to come out through the front. Don't try to pull this back. And it's maybe not so important at the moment because this is just messed up. But when you go to put the new one in, you've got to put it in through the front. There's a little lip back here on this back edge. And that shouldn't come out the back side. And so pull that out, pull this out. All this is going to get replaced. replacement pretty easy Hark what are those got some gaskets to uh, replace the old ones Here's the new piston. And see, it fits nice and tight. <sighs> Any gap that you think you're seeing there is a reflection. <sighs> that sucker is. You can see the edge. There's actually a little bit of a rubber seal totally missing on the other one. And this just seals up in there real tight so ball bearing just basically put this back in reverse order insert the collar insert the piston So, I'll take that out. All right, I couldn't find a pick, but I just get down inside here with a there okay so we pulled the gaskets out and uh, these are the valves that allow air to go into the tank and not back out and build up pressure I don't know what they're called but there it is okay so we put the new gasket in place just poke it around. Just get past these little tabs that are right there. Get a close-up shot of that. So, a little tab. Okay. Just give that a press fit. It'll push it in the rest of the way. So here's about the gasket, new gasket on either side. These are just 
fit right together. I would just basically reverse the process in order to put the thing back together. Ready to check it out. Forty PSI. That's the fastest this thing has ever come up. It usually takes ten or fifteen minutes before I get pressure. And that was before we got no pressure. Okay. That kind of hissing noise you hear? That's the rain. So I think we've got uh, about 170 PSI, just over 100 regulated. Everything looks okay. Here's the new shiny new piston. All right, well, that's a repair on the compressor. I will call that success. Holding pressure, for the most part, there's still a little hiss going in there, so I'm gonna have to get some something to seal that up with, or maybe replace that part as well. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good Saturday. Did this the other day. proper way to go about this, but I think the piston's jamming out. Come on, I just need a little 